the boathouse swim. Uh, I'm here this afternoon to uh, just take you uh, through the fish care policies we have at Passe. I'll show you the kit that we supply to you, but also the, uh, the areas that we've made specifically for you to, uh, to weigh and photograph your fish. Okay. okay, so let's start with uh, the weighing area uh, itself. As you can see, uh, just to the side of it here, you've got our uh, weigh bar. Uh, every swim now has a weigh post and a weigh bar. Uh, we've set it up with very sturdy metal, so you're not going to snap it. Uh, we've set it up, we like to think, pretty much the right distance from the bottom of the ground, so you're not going to be sagging or dropping fish on it. Anyway, uh, you can also see it also comes with a light. We also have a bottle of iodine that we clip onto it. Uh, we uh, ask you to treat any wounds on the fish or any uh, cuts and scrapes that you see. Uh, you'll also notice that each of our weigh areas are protected with some nice soft uh, artificial gloves. As we've tried to give you a nice big area. Now when it comes to the kit that we supply, uh, we think uh, the last thing you need when you're going home after a successful week of Paso is to be, you know, squeezed in the car with all your wet, stinking nets and mats and slings. So uh, we try to supply it all to you. So first up we have our way, uh, sorry, our cradles. Okay, so each one comes with a nice, generous, extra large cradle. If you can see, uh, it's a Ganache variety. These are well trusted and uh, proven. Um, the thing I like about this is the fish in here, it's nice and safe. It's not going anywhere. You can unhook it and photograph it. And in particular, you can get down for some spectacular pictures. You get right over the cradle. So uh, hopefully you enjoy those. Uh, to match the cradle, we actually have the, uh, the corresponding Waste things from Nash, these are the flotation ones, the captive mats, as you'll see, they fit more than generously right over the cradle. So when you land your fish, we much prefer that it's already in place. You lay the fish, fish up, net away, bang, you're ready to weigh your fish. Um, finally, we also have uh, our landing nets, bottom inch landing nets, very fine mesh, light carbon handles. Uh, you know, good quality nets that uh, we ask you just to take care of and to report to us any damage or any uh, tears in the net so we can repair it for you. But that's the kit. Uh, last but not least and most importantly is this little baby. It's our uh, watering cans as you can see. It says use me, carp care. Uh, we expect you to uh, have one of these full up in your swim at all times you know, for when the fish comes in. What I don't want really is fish to go on here and then we're taking three minutes to fill a, uh, a watering can. Let's just have it ready and uh, you know be generous with that lake water there's plenty of it right in terms of um, how this all comes together what i've done is i've just uh, stuck the rods in the ground and i thought i would just have a dabble for half an hour just see if i can wink her one out uh, and just put all the kit through its paces just to just to take you through it uh, i've decided to just try a couple of cheeky little method feeders. I've got a little bit of mix that's stodged up, so uh, let's see how we get on and uh, see if I can show you the kit in action. Well, lines that I couldn't change I was lost oh yeah I was lost I was lost Cross lines I shouldn't have crossed I was lost oh swim since we're sitting in it. Uh, give you a few pointers about um, the swim and the features just to, uh, to prepare you if you, if you happen to choose to swim when you come. So uh, we have a wind blowing into us at the moment which is the southwest. Okay, so uh, it gets the sun pretty much all day. So it's a bit of a heat trap. Uh, it's an interesting little swim actually because to the left of us you have what I refer to as the dam wall which is the deepest part of the lake goes down to 14, 15 feet in places, which is a good winter spot. But uh, to contrast that, to the right, you have quite a shallow bay, which is maybe three, four foot maximum. Um, it's quite a hard bay as well, quite sandy, quite clay, uh, certainly no silt. So you've got more silt to the left and uh, really quite clear to the right. 
You've actually got two bays to the right, you've got a little small one where the outlet flows, but then a much larger one which is uh, packed full of features. When uh, we drained in the winter we took the opportunity to dig some holes, to make some plateaus, we've planted it, uh, so it's really quite an interesting area. Uh, as we speak, one's just jumped in the bay, they like to get in quite close, uh, or I can see my right hand rod knocking actually, we've obviously got some interest on our method feeder. Uh, now, also, so I've talked to you about the right hand side and the left, straight out you've got plenty of water, and again, lots of different um, depths to play about with. As we look straight out, you've got the, um, the edge of the tree line that comes around the lake. Uh, there's a large poplar tree there, sorry, silver birch tree, uh, which can be quite, a, quite an interesting spot there. Uh, not, not particularly tight, you know, it's nice and hard all around there, if you bait it they'll come and feed there, so you've got some nice little spots. Equally you've got lots of nice silty areas to try with a chod or a helicopter rig, um, more straight out. It's quite deep off the front of this swim, so you get a great fight, uh, fish, fish pull deep, uh, lots of space, uh, but at the same time quite secluded, quite closed off, uh, a lot of tree cover, it's a lovely swim. Oh, yeah. I've already unhooked it in the net this one because it's quite straightforward. Bar is hooked, obviously a bit simple. So as you can see with the, uh, the cradle, it's very easy for me just to leave the fish there for a second. Now we're just not going to come into harm's way. And you're going to see that the uh, sling is it's plenty big enough to take the fish. So we'll have to just pick away, we'll see what we've got. Maybe five or six pounds for this one. Just move this thing out of the way. Cradle out of the way. Oh, there we go, a bit more than I thought. Ten pounds on the nose. Now, right. yeah. now I won't get a picture of this one. What I will do very quickly is just treat my hook hold. Which is very small. There we go. We'll just look for any cuts and grazes. It looks quite a clean fish. I think we're good. Let's get him back. There we go. So there you go, that's job done with uh, the Passe uh, care kit. Hope that's uh, shown you what we can offer.